back. Are you ready to do another fantastic painting? Well, great, because there's a hair in my palette. We got a fantastic painting plan for you, and we're going to do a step-by-step -step video teaching you how to do it along with me. Are you ready? I'll tell you what I've done. I've covered the entire canvas with a, with a thin layer of liquid white. It's some shit I found at the store. Cost about like nine bucks, and I was like, damn, that's a lot of money. But I do it for you guys. It's so pretty. You're pretty. So we're gonna make it look nothing like I'm just gonna say, because we're gonna make it look lighter as we get down to the horizon line. Wherever the horizon line is, is up to you because you're a perfect little cake. While I'm here, I'm gonna introduce you to my little friend. His name's Rhonda. I found Rhonda at a BP gas station in the back. Some homeless man threw her in the dumpster. And I thought, that was really mean. I got a lot of emails about Rhonda. She's not up for adoption because she's still acclimated to being in the wild other than her BP gas station experience. She's still not used to human beings. Anyway, let's get back to paint. So we're using our Merrill Blue and we're going to be dragging it down into the horizon line over here where all your friends live. Except for mine because they're dead. And then we're just blending away and blending. Oh, there we go. Motherfucker. It's like when you find a stripper that loves you and she doesn't love you for your money, but she loves you for you because you're perfect. Marrow blue and shit brown. And I'm going to put it on both sides of the brush. And then I'm going to make some magic. Or we're gonna just, you know, bring up some trees. You don't even know where this shit's gonna go, but it's gonna go places, it's gonna blow your fucking mind. There's no plans to this, there's only just happy little accidents. Everything's perfectly thought out and reasoned. Just like you going to college at 30 and thinking you have your whole life figured out. You never do. Nothing's ever figured out, except for painting. Painting's great. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our brush into some brush cleaner because you wanna fix all your problems. And then we're gonna wipe it away a little bit. Don't worry, because we're gonna brush it off on this little rag and then we're gonna beat the devil out of it. Like your wife. She's probably a really nice lady. You don't know why you beat her anyway. What the hell? So here we're gonna take some Caucasian white and then we're gonna add some happy little clouds. And they can go wherever you want because white people can go wherever they want. There's no right or wrong to any painting because you make up the rules in your own little happy little world when you're using white paint as a white male. So we're just gonna blend it. We're gonna blend, blend it like nothing ever happened. Cause there's no real accidents here. It's all love and understanding. I went to art school. And we're gonna draw a couple little sticks over here. And when you take the brush, you're gonna wanna twist just to make a little stick shape. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It's your own little world, your own little happiness. Every tree deserves a friend, so we're going to draw another stick. Right about there. And now we're going to add a little bit of a highlight because the sun's going to be coming out from right here. So you want to make sure that where the sunlight's hitting, it's going to be right there. You know, just a little bit of the little canary yellow that we're using. I 
don't know what to say right now, but this is a legit as fuck tree. I'm gonna draw you a little friend right here. He's just a little guy and he's very happy. He's very happy to live out in these woods. He's a, he's just a little friend. And he's very happy to meet all of you guys. Okay. He's a, got a little story to tell in the woods. But I'm gonna let that story be his because everyone has their own little story to tell. And, how, and who am I to try and tell his story? Because it's not mine to tell. It's just, it's just a series of drawing lines until they look right. There's, there's no rhyme or reason to it. So, my friend over here, his name's, his name's Dick Butt. Well, it's gonna have a little arm coming right out here. Okay. Little red right here. Mix it with the yellow. I'm just gonna dab it. He's having himself a little nice bonfire. He's wanted by the authorities. He's burning down Yellowstone National Park kind of frowned upon. So you know what I heard about the little game Fallout with the thumbprint? The guy holding the thumbprint out like that? Apparently, he holds the thumbprint out to find out how far away he is from the nuclear explosion so he can avoid radiation poisoning. So that little guy right there, he's got his thumb up to find out how far away he is from radiation poisoning. It's not very far away. He found out he was next to a radiation plant. Uh-oh. Yep. I'm out of here. Did I hear somebody say zombies? This one probably had a family before he died. Probably a really nice family. They don't eat him, because he's a zombie. No one wants a zombie dad. Or a zombie mom. This one's drowning. Thank you, you happy little creature, for my beer. This one is very much related to EA Games. It looks very promising, just like this video. But in the end, the painting, the quality, the game, slightly disappointing. Just like EA. I really want Mass Effect Andromeda to be really good. But I digress. Doesn't have any brains, but it's coming after Dick Butt, who's all the way over there. Look at that. Now we're gonna take our palette tool and we're gonna make a little mountain because mountains are fucking sweet. Now all you're gonna do is do a 90 degree angle and just go straight. Doesn't that look great? I'm just gonna cut straight and just go straight down. That doesn't look like a mountain. Don't beat yourself up, kid. Your low self-esteem is gonna be the end of you. But you just have to trust that these mountains are gonna look fucking sweet. Right now, we're only worried about the outer area of the mountain that doesn't seem to be cooperating with me right now because it's not my fault. Oil paints are jerks. And then you're just gonna go down at a 90 degree angle because when your light source is from over there, you're gonna completely disregard it. And you're gonna just do whatever the heck you want. Because it's my painting and it's my rules. That looks great. You look great. Everyone's great. Oh shit, that looks great! Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters? 
Or did I ask for shitty oil paint? Oh my god. That looks sweet. I'm gonna have a double rainbow because double rainbows are great. I'm gonna grab that crap green. If you went to art school, you'd know what double rainbow is. Oh shit! That looks great. We got some happy trees here that we're gonna bring back just to recreate happy memories of before Dick Butt had nuclear war happened in his hometown before he got radiation. All right, now we're gonna add a couple of burnt little leaves here, but I think we're about done. So from all of us here, happy painting and God bless my friend.